Hey you guys, my name is Mo and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Guys, on my channel I focus on luxury, lifestyle, I love vlogging, I love thrifting, vintage designer, vintage home decor, home decor in general. We just love curated vibes over here. So if that's something that you're into, definitely go ahead and subscribe and stick around because you will not want to miss what I have in store for you guys. So. This video is gonna be vlog style and I'm gonna take you into World Market with me because I was in the market for a handleless coffee mug and I found so many cute coffee mugs while I was there. I was like in heaven, okay? So this is one of the ones that will focus for you guys. It is a beautiful like matte blue ceramic coffee mug and I am so pleased with it. It has totally elevated my coffee experience like it's just so so good at first i wasn't sure of the color because i i like touches of blue but i'm not really one to commit to like this was a stretch for me but i'm so glad that i did it because i ended up loving it so much so yeah we're going in the world market we're gonna look at what's new in because i'm super into home decor and i'm just always trying to carefully curate different like I'm trying to elevate my home. I'm trying to elevate my home, my wardrobe, my my life, okay? We're just trying to do the most. So yeah, we're gonna go to World Market. And also I'm gonna show you some vintage designer that I picked up as of late. I found a vintage Burberry mini tote. I wanna show you that. Picked that up for under $25. I also picked up a vintage Chanel bucket bag for under $50. I picked up three designer blazers. I got a Christian Dior YSL and a Fendi blazer from a chain thrift store called red white and blue here in tampa and lastly i picked up some hermes she pray sandal dupes i want to share them with you i got them for under 20 dollars. so if that is something that you're into trust me you're not going to want to miss this video and i'm going to link everything that i can in the description box below so without further ado let's get into the video So we got the King Arthur bread flour. I'm hoping that this works out guys because I'm super excited to try this homemade bread. I got the kosher salt just like I showed you in the store. I ended up getting this um, hair gel Mako de Gorilla. It's like basically like um, like an extreme holding gel. It works out really good for me. And then I got this rapid rise um, yeast I'm on camera focus yeah I got this instant yeast it says it's fast acting um, let's see simply add to dry ingredients and follow your recipe no need to hydrate and water no proofing required and so it has some helpful instructions on the back and I'm definitely gonna follow some of those tips 
And then as far as what I got from World Market, um, I ended up getting this. I have been dying to get like some handleless coffee mugs. So I ended up getting this one. I'm not sure that I'm gonna keep it. I'm not crazy about the color, but I just want to grab it and bring it home, see how it feels in the home, see how it looks on my countertop before I commit to it. And I'm already kind of like, eh, I don't know. So we'll see. And then, hold on, let me get my IG open so I can share this at the same time. I also got this. Let me try not to. Try not to break it. I got this one too. Um, it's like a ceramic glazed um, handleless mug. So we'll see how this works out. And also some other junk in this bag. In here. I got this coffee press that I showed you guys when I was at the store. And this ceramic nudie creamy nude color. It has like a little spout on the side, which will make it easy, like make it nice for pouring. It was $30, like I said, at World Market. We'll see how it works out. Okay, have some instructions. I already know how to use it though. That's how it looks on the inside. And I had a clear one, so it was really nice um, because I got to see like, you know, and then when I, do my stories i will also be able to see and show what was going on inside of this thing so this time i went with the ceramic one because the glass must keep on breaking so yeah this is how it looks and hopefully i like it on the counter um it's going to be an adjustment because i normally have a clear glass one and I like the tone of it. It's like a gray, like a gray, beigey nude color. So we'll see how it works out. Um, I'm not sure if like I want to try to find something else before I use it or not. But we shall see. Okay, you guys. So let's start out with the bang. All right. So I thrifted this Christian Dior blazer at Red, White, and Blue. It is a chain thrift store that we have here in Tampa. This is how it looks. It is a men's blazer. It is like a very subtle pinstripe. I don't know if you can see that. It's in a gray color. Um, here is the label. Vintage Christian Dior. It has like a little bit of an oversized fit. I actually thrifted these about maybe a week and a half ago. So I'll, I'll go ahead and try this on for you, but it was priced at 49, or sorry, $39, but I ended up getting it for half off, which was nice. So, this is how it fits. Um, it's a little bit warm here in Tampa right now. Our weather's up and down, so I don't think this is gonna be appropriate right now unless we have some cooler days. But I can definitely picture myself wearing this throughout fall and winter. And when I saw it, I could not pass it up. The next blazer that I want to show you is this one. This is a vintage Fendi blazer. It has a made in Italy tag in the collar. And here is the logo. Or the branding rather. And it also has Fendi all over the buttons. I really don't know if the camera will pick that up, but let's try. Anyway, I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but it is in like a like a deep kind of like grayish mushroom color. And it was, oh my gosh, I can't remember if I got this one for 25% off or half off, but it's priced at $20. But either way, super good deal. This is how it looks on. It is a men's blazer, so it's going to be very oversized on me. I'm only 5'3". And I cannot wait to bust this out for this, you know, for, um, oh my gosh, for fall, winter. It is gonna look so super good and the quality is impeccable and 
It just has like buttons, just like any other blazer, but they have Fendi on them. All right, so the next blazer is just as good. This one is YSL and it has Made in France here in the collar. And here is the branding right here. And this one is in a black color. Um, I don't really remember the fit of this one. The tag has $8 on it. So like I said, I either got 25 or 50% off on this one. And guys, you cannot beat that price because even if you go on eBay right now, they're gonna be more expensive. So let's try it on. So this is how it looks on. Super cute, again, oversized. And length, this one is a bit, I wouldn't say like super snug, but it fits kind of like just right around like the waist. So yeah, I'm super excited. I'm so excited about all of these guys. This was a find, okay? I also found a Hermes um, men's tie. I ended up leaving that behind though. It was $50. I also found a Burberry button up, but I did leave that one behind too. It was also $50, but you cannot beat that. I actually thought about getting the Burberry button up and just having like my tailor crop it. So it would be like, you know, um, kind of like either shorter or just like literally a cropped button up. And it was so crispy and white and new looking. Like it looked like they barely wore it, whoever had it. So it may have gotten donated on accident because it literally looked brand new. So yeah, this is the YSL blazer. And yeah, you just can't beat the quality. Super excited. So next I want to show you my vintage Burberry Blue Label mini tote. I have her right here. She is so cute. The perfect size, perfect condition. And yeah, I thrifted this bag for under $25. I got it from a local thrift store here in Tampa. Let me show you, this is the front. And also guys, go ahead and take a screenshot of this bag and I'm gonna tell you how you can find it on the resale market for a super good price. So screenshot this picture right here, put that into Google Images and hold please. Um, this is the back, this is the bottom. It doesn't have any feet, but for its age, it is in really, really good condition. The handles look super good. They're in a really pretty like, um, caramel slash kind of like creamy caramel colored handle or leather and it has like um three compartments it has the main compartment which is zippered okay and then it has like two button closures on either side of the front of the tote so yeah super cute love the size of it i love a tote but i just don't like a big overwhelming tote because i'm only 5'3 and so I did like, for example, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I love the size of that tote, but the handles, like the straps dig into your shoulders when the bag gets too heavy. But this one, it doesn't fit on your shoulder. It actually fits in the crook of your arm. So it's like the perfect, perfect size. And yeah, love it so much. So anyway, let's get back to that Google image. So if you put this, if you download Google, okay click on the little camera icon and then you would just take a picture or you can um, upload a picture from your camera roll okay so you're going to use this picture and then it's going to take you to like when you use this picture you can type in other other characteristics that you're looking for um like you can put burberry mini tote okay and then hit search it's going to take you to a bunch of resale sites more than likely ebay is going to be right at the top and so when you go into ebay you know, you can go ahead and search, search, search. You're going to find this bag, right? It may be in a different check color, um, but definitely do your due diligence. Get it authenticated if you're not good with the whole authentication process. I am. I'm really, really good. I've been doing this for many, many years. I would say at least, mm, at least 12 to 15 years I've been doing this. But for myself, I don't work for a company, but I just know what to look for. So and also, guys, when you go to the thrift store, don't be afraid to check out those bags that look like a designer bag but you just figure like oh my gosh it's, it's the thrift store they would never have a designer bag in here because like don't go in with that mentality because you will be surprised i have thrifted a chanel bag within the past couple months this bag 
a long champ bag, a Chloe bag, just hanging out on the shelf or on the rack, just out in the open and nobody thought or knew what to look for. So Chloe is very, is a very discreet brand. So you have to know what it looks like. So familiarize yourself with what certain brands bags look like because I also found a Bottega Veneta at this same thrift store, the red, white, and blue that I first mentioned when I showed you the blazers, I found a Bottega Veneta bag. And as you know, Bottega Veneta, the branding is very minimal, if any at all. So yeah. That is going to be <laughs> familiarizing yourself with what certain brands bags look like is going to be like your number one. It's going to really, really help you out a lot. So anyway, back to this bag. Isn't she a beauty? Isn't she cute? When I first got it, I didn't wear it like right away. It took me about three weeks to wear it. But now that I have, it's like I cannot not wear it. Like it is so good. Jeez, I got so out of breath talking about that bag with so much to say. But yeah, this is how she looks. And I'm so, so happy with her. So yeah. Next up, okay, everybody's loving the Hermes Chipre sandals. I don't actually know if I'm saying it right, but they're all over Instagram. They're all over any and everything that I see, YouTube, TikTok. Everyone has been obsessing over these sandals. They do come with the hefty price tag. But I don't know if they're absolutely worth it because I have invested in three pairs of Hermes shoes and two out of the three were sandals and they did not stand the test of time. So I don't know that I'll be investing in an authentic pair of Hermes sandals ever again. But anyway, I do like their designs though. So with that being said, these are the dupes that I found. They are by the brand Lemonade and they look Super, super similar to the Hermes Chipre sandals. They have that traditional H. They have the Velcro strap here. Hold on, I'm trying not to touch the bottom because I'm not, not that type of girl. So they have the Hermes H and then they have the little Velcro here that opens. Let me put one of these shoes down, hold on. So yeah, you have the Velcro. They're by the brand Lemonade. I will say they are as far as sizing, they're a normal to wide foot friendly sandal. So if you have really narrow feet, these are more than likely not gonna work for you. Even though they have the adjustable Velcro here, it's just gonna be too loose because they're almost too loose for me. But they also have like the little grooves here in the footbed, just like the Chipre sandals. And they are so super cute. I got them in white and black. I will show you the black pair too. Let me show you the brand again. It's by literally the brand Lemonade. You can find these online. I paid, I think under $20 for these. This is the black pair, guys. I hate touching the bottom of my shoes, so I'm trying my best. That's how they look. I have really been getting my wear, my use, you know, and wear out of these because they match with any and everything. And this is the color that I was most drawn to whenever I got them. Um, the only like wear that I'm seeing is a little bit of fraying here, but it's just like a couple threads that can be cut. I don't even know if you can see it on camera, but there's a few threads here that I can just literally nip off and they'll be perfect again. I have stuck my toe in these while walking my dog outside on the concrete. So there is slightly like a slight amount of damage here on the front. But I mean, with normal wear, you're gonna get a little bit of damage. But when the shoe is on the ground, you won't be able to tell at all. So yeah, I'm super happy with those. I hope that you guys are able to pick up a pair if you love them. The brand is Lemonade. And I think they're under $25 online too. So let me know if you end up picking them up, girl. Just as I suspected, I didn't think I was going to be able to unpack everything in just one video. So definitely stay tuned for the next one because I'm gonna give you all the deets on how I thrifted this authentic Chanel bucket bag for under $50. Yes, you heard me right, under $50. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your loved ones, your friends and family. And yeah, I can't wait to chat with you guys in the comment section below. So feel free to leave me any comments or questions that you may have for me down there. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.